Hey everyone, my name's Kira and I'm one of the interns working on Synthesis. And today we want to give you five top tips and tricks for using Synthesis in your FRC build season. All right, so let's get started. Number one, discovering where your robot exporters are, both in Fusion and Inventor. So in Fusion, to get started, you're going to want to open up your robot CAD model. And from there, you can navigate to the Tools tab and in the Design environment. And then if the Synthesis Robot Exporter has been installed, you should be able to see these new exported tools here added by the add-in. Now in Inventor, when viewing a CAD model, you'll want to navigate into the Environments tab in your toolbar, and then there should be an option about the Robot Exporter and that it should be available. And if you run into any troubleshooting issues, one of the most common troubleshooting issues is your add-in not loading properly. So more details can be found below as well as in our tutorials. Okay, tip number two, driving with your robot code, which is different than driving with the controls in Synthesis. So the Synthesis emulation is set up to mimic a lot of the FRC driver station. So you can test your robot code in Teleop um, or Autonomous or even various test modes like practice mode. Um, and so from here, you'll wanna go ahead and first upload your robot code. And you can do this by clicking on the Start Emulator button on the left-hand side of the emulation toolbar, and this will automatically open up your Synthesis driver station. Um, and then after the emulator status changes from starting to be ready, use the Select Code button, the second button there, to select your user program executable. So for C++ Visual Studio codes, you'll need to um, use builds with the FRC user program which is a binary located in your project. And then for Java Visual Studio Code builds, you'll need to use the jar file. So after you uploaded your robot code, you can then go ahead and verify that all of your connections have been established. And once your communications are ready, you can go ahead and hit the Start Emulation button, and you should be able to switch to emulation mode from there. Okay, tip number three, setting up your goals and testing out the sticky features, which is a new beta thing that we are using this year. So to access your scoring, um, you'll need to navigate to the scoring tool tab. And here you'll be able to edit a bunch of your scoring zones. Um, you can create a new goal and edit. And now you can see that there is actually a new sticky feature, which is a beta thing right now. Okay, number four is the impulse, which was a new feature we added at the end of summer 2019. Um, but it's a secret kind of little feature that's actually super helpful and it allows you to choose the magnitude of impact um, by holding down your left control um, and you can click and choose the position of the direction of your given magnitude. Okay, a quick little Easter egg feature that can actually be super helpful is God Mode. So you'll need to use the left control and Alt and then your mouse pad which you can use to move around objects in the field. into any troubleshooting issues or have any questions about synthesis in general, um, feel free to go to our website at synthesis.autodesk.com or give us an email at frc at autodesk.com. We look forward to hearing from you teams and to see what you can do this build season.